It's a new day in College Station. The Jimbo Fisher era begins with the annual maroon and white game here at Texas A&M. Fans have been piling into Kyle Field, their first opportunity to see this Jimbo Fisher Aggie team. The core is ready, the hair is flowing, and the wind is blowing. Breezy day here in East Central Texas as we get set for the maroon and white game in the first to see Jimbo Fishers. Texas A&M Aggies underway here at College Station. Travion Williams receives the kick. He'll take an E, and the Maroon team will take over the 20. A&M fans hope coming into this year that he'd be able to keep that up. From the gun to back to pass, Rush comes, and he'll be taken down. Called on the first play, but that's a sight for sore eyes for Aggie fans. Yes, that is Dalen Mack, a guy who was outstanding as a true freshman just a few years ago. Fast forward, I can't believe he's a senior. Makes me feel. Starkle back to pass, dumps it off to Williams. He's got some blockers in front of him. Still fighting for yardage. He's going to be close to a first down. Has their way early. There's a sight. Starkle under center. Play fake. Has his receiver, too, making the catch out in the flat on a 16-yard gain is Rashad Paul. Third down and short now. And a great play in the backfield. Kingsley Tunnel. <laughs> Starkle rolling to his right. Will he keep it? He does. And again takes a hit. A little confusion now for the white team on defense. Starkle going down the middle. He's got Osborne wide open. Inside the 20, the 15 before finally being brought down at the 7 by Donovan Wilson, a big gain for the Maroon. The last few years, we've seen wide receivers for the opposition running wide open against this Aggie defense. Of course, Mike Elko, new defensive coordinator. Those guys are still learning on that side of the football, but making sure that everybody knows their assignment and the communication is all sorted out before the ball is snapped is something that they're going to have there. 58 yards now, eye formation, the pitch back to Williams. He can't handle it. It's going to be a turnover just can't make mistakes like this big play you have all the momentum the pitch is right in the bread basket for Travion Williams and it looks to me and he just takes his eyes off of it you see his helmet it actually goes vertical he's trying to see the fullback that's right I said fullback out and fell on it to get it back to the white squad let's see what they can do after going three and out in their first possession here's Mott avoids the initial rush they're gonna blow this one dead he would have been sacked big forest he is as respected as they come on that side of the football starkle back to pass again finds his back out of the backfield williams makes one cut makes one man miss gets a first down 14 yard gain on the running backs and jimbo fisher said that might be the most improved unit on the team they also bring uh, an interesting class we'll talk about them later on down the middle an interesting pass and catch from osbon from starkle these two have hooked up again this time 22 yards downfield time plays in the passing game you just can't make mistakes like that especially in the red zone stark looking for osman in the end zone leaps over the defender can't make the catch after a fantastic defensive play by charles oliver Bill texas fairfield high school play fake starkle again looks to the end zone and finds his tight end just an easy little concept i'll know what that is that's Spider 3 Y banana. Game on the line, he always stepped up. Can Starkle and Mon do that today? Starkle looks for his tight end and picked off. Intercepted, and it's going to be returned all the way down to the four yard line. And two dialed in on the wide receiver. Look at him. Eyes left the whole way. Eyes left, eyes left, eyes left. Doesn't see out in front of Jay Sternberger. And the defender recognizes it, crashes on it, yeah. and picks it off with ease. These are the things you have to always see out in front of the intended wide receiver Jimbo Fisher discussed like it could be with White knocking on the door. Ronnie Elam making the pick the junior from Newton Texas and that's going to be a touchdown to the other tight end. Known going into each practice who was going to be QB1 they've alternated each day to keep that continuity going. Greg you've been in quarterback battles as we've got a big run here. Yeah we do it's Kwame yeah well, he's going to take it to the house or look at it. Look at the cut. Oh. Missed tackle on the outside. Bad job. Closing that end by Carper. Missed tackle in the open field. Need to see less of that, but 
eight as the offensive coordinator the last few years, an elite offensive mind. Going to be fascinating to see what he does at start for. Mon hits his receiver. That is a nice pitch and catch to Cameron Buckley. First down for White. Eight looked like Williams might have some room to run. Only got a couple of yards. Second down and eight. Starkle finds Osmond. That'll be enough for a first. Starkle says it's been so effective. He also said that because of Jimbo's presence, he feels like they could win a championship in three years' time and be part of the playoff at that point. He feels very... Just going under four minutes left to go in this first half. Starkle back to pass. Hits his receiver. Osmond again for a first down. Himself as that X receiver on the weak side. But who are some of the other guys that are going to step up? Sternberg. Oh, Sternberg. Look at that. Breaks free from a defender. It'll take it down to the 13 yard line. It's Johnny Manziel. And it's just so good to see him back in good health, trying to play the game that he's so passionate about. I know so many people in this. And the camera is true, 14-10. Very aware of the situation. This is when the best quarterbacks really come to the forefront. Oh, he found Bussy out of the backfield, but that was Akine Okeke with a big stop. Nice hit. <laughs> Boom. Just like they teach it. Led with that shoulder. Third and 10 now. Plenty of time, and he finds his receiver. That's Williams out of the backfield. Mon pump fakes, scrambles, and goes down on his own. A little short, and Johnny Manziel is going to take it out of the end zone. Looking for a block. He'll get out to the 32 before saying that's it. Now it's time for my show at the half. Tosses it back to the camera. <laughs> that got a big cheer from the fans here. and They're going to get to see more of Johnny Manziel at the halftime. The Legends flag football game coming your way. We'll have stats and highlights and a whole lot more. A look at Texas A&M schedule coming up. Look, it doesn't start in easy fashion here. Look at September. Clemson and at Alabama before you even get out of that first month. And then this game against Arkansas it continues to be what it's been over the last 14 practices. They can win here, and they can win right now. Mott steps up and hits Buckley over the middle. That'll be a first down, a gain of 19. Kellen Mond, one of the two quarterbacks in this battle here, guiding the white team, Nick Starkle, with the maroon team. Plenty of time for Mond as he goes downfield and finds Hezekiah Jones. Nice conversion for the first down. Mond with plenty of time, looking for Buckley, touchdown! And Buckley finding some space on the post. And Second and nine now for the white squad and Colton Taylor back to throw. Finds his running back who makes a couple of nifty moves and picks up the first down. Puts his foot into it and it's good. The white team extends their lead 24-10 now over Maroon. They're going to be prepared for those moments, but also they said it's the fourth quarter of the season, the end of the season, and unfortunately for Aggies fans, they've seen those be tough. Schmidt is bringing that new body fat in a three-month period. So whatever they're on from a workout standpoint, I need to learn it. They'll set you straight on it. <laughs> yeah, the entire stadium would rock. It was crazy. Blumrick finds space and hits his running back for the score. John Clark hauls it in. Hit the conversation. He went out of his way to say, hey, don't forget about my guy Blumrick here. It's a nice throw on the wheel route up the sideline for the over the course of the summer that can spell them throughout the fall. But that's a position group that I think. Blumrick back to pass, feels the rush, and he's going to get sacked again. Go by Mon down the field. They need a legit deep threat to emerge sooner than later. Travion Williams busts this one open for 18 yards. Buddy Johnson finally making the stop downfield, but it's a first down for Merkin half. Quick pass out in the flat. Paul makes the catch, makes one move, gets out outside the 40-yard line. Derek Turner with the stop, but it's a first down. 
Second and 17 now for Starkle. Takes the handoff, quick toss to Sternberger is wide open. 30, 25, 15, 10, 5, and he'll score. For Nick Starkle. And you can see Derek Tucker reacting to the run game. He steps up. No help on the front side. That is to the house. Game-tying touchdown. Passed all the way through the fall, promises to, and they're getting an opportunity to see Starkle lead on that touchdown drive, and then Mond here connecting with Kendrick Rogers. The hold and the kick are far from a sure thing when it's 30 mile an hour wins. You're right, Mond gets pressure up the middle. Downfield, and a heck of a catch! And a fantastic catch from Kendrick Rogers. They say he has the size and the potential. He has the highest ceiling of any of the wide receivers. Big players kicker. Mont fakes it to Edwin. Rodgers. Can he get to the pylon? Yes. Occasionally you take it for granted, for sure. But I'd rather leave it up to my quarterback and my offense. Score a touchdown. Eliminate most of the if your quarterback can make a play for you. Speaking of not leaving anything up to chance. <laughs> you are so pathetic. <laughs> it's just, you just never know. Oh, I like right the this just, I don't, oh, I don't know what's going on here. Go. Overtime games against Arkansas, 40, 50 points. All right, 30 seconds left here. Williams again underneath. Close to midfield. Uh, Look at the offensive line sprint. Offense. Williams now split wide right. Starkle. The seam pass complete. That could go off the clock. Starkle. Oh, nice catch. Clyde Crisp. Starkle. Got plenty of time. Throws it up. That would have been too much right there. If Sternberger comes down with that one. That would have been too much for his debut. <laughs> Couldn't quite do it, though, and the white team hangs on. Final thoughts after an entertaining day. Very entertaining. Thought both quarterbacks had their moments. Thought both teams really played well together. And I think you can absolutely say that the first spring under Jimbo Fisher is a resounding success after 15 practices. It is in the books with the white team. Earning a 30 to 24 win for Laura Rutledge and Greg McElroy. I'm Chris Cotter. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.